Android Studio version 3.5 is now available for download on the Stable channel. This release is the culmination of the Project Marble effort, which means more stability, better performances, and polished features in the IDE and build system. It also includes updates from NTLJ 2019.1. During the past few months, our engineers fixed hundreds of bugs and memory leaks, resulting in fewer interface freezes, especially when editing data binding expression in XML, and two times faster link code analysis performance. Android Studio has a maximum memory heap size of 1.2 GB by default. When you work on large projects of this amount, it may not be enough. With Android Studio 3.5, the IDE will recognize when your project needs more RAM and notify you to increase the memory heap size in a notification, if your machine's configuration allows it. Thanks to user report, we realized that recent antivirus programs on Windows included Android Studio build and installation directories as active scan targets. Since these folders have many small files created and removed over time, the I.O. and CPU were partially taxed, which in turn impact the overall build sync performance of Android Studio. With the 3.5 release, Android Studio will now check various directories that could be impacted by the slowdown and compare them against the list of excluded antivirus directories. If it finds that any of these folders are not being excluded, you will see a pop-up notification and link to help you guide through the optimal setup. On the emulator side, we found out that Google Play services were aggressively running in the background because of the default power settings. We switched the default to battery mode, and background CPU usage declined by more than three times which avoids having the calling fans triggered even when the emulator is idle. We polished numerous features that are critical to Android developers. Gradle Sync was sometimes failing due to a cache issue when dependencies were periodically deleted to save disk space. The layout editor experience is now smoother, especially when you work on constraints between elements with constraint layout. We also made it easier to upgrade a project imported from the previous version of Android Studio with guided fixes to help you with the process. Finally, for projects including C++, CMake's build can now be up to 25% faster. The deployment toolbar also got a nice UI tweak with a new target device dropdown. It helps you switch easily between them whenever you run your application. And if you care about build speed, and you probably do, the Android Gradle plugin 3.5 brings incremental annotation processing for data binding. You need to set Android data binding incremental to true in your Gradle properties. Check the Gradle documentation website to find other compatible annotation processors. Incremental annotation processor compilation wasn't available for Kotlin until now. With the newest Kotlin plugin version, you can add this line to your Gradle property file to enable it. We had your feedback on Instant Run, and we re-implement it with a more practical approach from the ground up. We call this new tool Apply Changes. It uses platform-specific APIs from Android, Oreo, and higher to ensure reliable and consistent behavior. Unlike Instant Run, Apply Changes does not modify your APK. You can read more about it on our blog post linked in the description below. Now, application sizes are always something that's on our mind. That's why we added support for conditional delivery for app bundles. It allows you to set certain device configuration requirements for dynamic feature modules to be downloaded automatically during app install. You can set conditional delivery based on hardware features such as OpenGL versions, support for augmented reality, API level, or even user country. If you're running on a Chrome OS device starting from version 75, you will be happy to hear that we have now a dedicated dev file installer for Android Studio 3.5. What's more, it now supports deployment and debugging on USB connected device. We want to thank all the developers who helped us by sharing metrics and usage data anonymously on Android Studio. You can help us as well, opting in the system settings data sharing section. Enjoy Android Studio 3.5, and remember that we are listening to your feedback on our bug tracker. Check out early builds of Android Studio 3.6 on the Canary channel. See you soon.